my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salyan Consulting and in this video I'm going to talk about the Carta window and how it's context independent. So here I'm looking at a company detail screen. As a user I could realize I need to add something to my to-do list but it really doesn't have anything to do with this company. So I can click on this button right here and we've built the ability to look at a to-do list from pretty much anywhere in the database. So I was looking at a company detail but I wanted to do something that was completely separate or completely independent from that. And with a card window, I can do that because we're just looking at a layout within a layout or a window within a window. So I can go in here and add a new task. And I'll give it a due date of the 19th. And then I could give another task. And we'll give it a date of the 22nd. And what's really cool about this is that my parent window, the company detail screen, that was a form view. But the card window is actually going to be a list view, and I can actually just scroll through it like I would on any other layout. Now I've added some bells and whistles here. You have the ability to just delete something. You have the ability to mark something as high priority so we can just star it or flag it. And then you can just check something off when you're done with it. And here in this example, I scripted it so that the record doesn't go away right away. So I could uncheck it in case I didn't mean to uh, mark it as complete. So let's look at what the script looks like for running that. So first I run a script that's going to clear a couple of globals, but really here at the new window is where the magic starts. So I've got a new window, it's the card style, and it's going to open up the to-do list card layout. Now normally I leave the size and position fields empty because that will usually size it just right and it'll put it right in the middle of the layout, but here I want it to be a little bit more specific. I wanted the height to be set at 500 pixels. I did this because the default when FileMaker does a list view is just a little bit too short. And then I wanted the card window to be flush to the top of the parent window, so I set the position to zero from the top. From there, I'm doing a normal find on a layout. So I'm going into find mode, I'm setting the field, the account name to the current account that I'm logged in as. So I'm looking at my to-do list and then I'm making sure that I'm only showing things that are not flagged as done, perform the find, and then I sort my records and that's pretty much it. If we look at the layout, you'll see that it, it's going to look exactly like what we were seeing in the card window. So here's the layout. And if we jump into layout mode, we've got a header section that just gives us the title as well as the number of tasks that are there. We've got the leading grand summary that's going to give me the ability to add a new task with a couple of global fields. And then we've got the body section that's going to repeat with every record that shows up in browse mode. So let me pull that up one more time. We could drop this button on any layout in the database. We could actually script this in a menu if we wanted to. But when I click on it, I get my to-do list. I can now check things off. I can add new stuff. And basically I'm doing this all independently from wherever I was. So I'm hoping this leads to a little bit more functionality for my users as well as quite a bit more efficiency. Again, just one other way to use the card window. I'm really excited to see what people are going to do with this new window style. Please leave a comment if you've got any thoughts about it and make sure you keep watching Salient TV. We'll be adding more videos talking about the new features of FileMaker 16. Thanks for watching.